Aida for saying I'll be driving myself and paying for my own room on the upcoming family vacation so I won't have to be a babysitter? I-23 meters was repeatedly stuck playing the part of helper and babysitter on family outings. I had to move out of my parents' house because I kept being forced to help watch my three nephews. Last year we took a family vacation in summer to the coast. I rode along with my parents, and they paid for my hotel room. Only, I had to share that room with three rowdy boys because my sister and her husband wanted a room to themselves. I was promised time to do my own things on the vacation. But instead he ended up having to help with these kids. I complained to everyone about it, and was reminded I was there for free. And then we pretty much just did only one thing I wanted to do. Which was tour an art gallery. I like doing this whenever I'm at the coast. But the kids find it boring. This year my parents have a beach trip planned for June. And they assumed I'd be riding along the same way as last year. But I refused. I said I'd be driving myself, and paying for my own hotel stay to hobby my own room. My parents were shocked, and tried to remind me of the cost. I said it was no worry. I've got a good job and a decent running car. I can more than afford it. That's when the buts started. I stated the previously listed things as why I'll be driving myself and paying for myself. I want to be able to enjoy this vacation us on adult and not be treated like a child like last year. My parents told my sister, and she called to blow up at me that I'll be ruining the vacation if I'm off doing my own thing while she has to wrangle her. Three boys. I ended up yelling at her that last year all she did was rope me into her mess. I didn't really get to do much of anything I wanted to do. And I was treated like the bad guy for wanting to just go to an art gallery. I'm a grown man. I deserve my own vacation too. Now my sister is not speaking to me, and my parents are still trying to convince me to just ride with them to keep the peace. I'm still refusing. But the pressure is getting to me. Aida for not giving in. I know they'll have a pretty hard time when they won't have another person there to help. Edit. It's barely been an hour since I posted. But my sister is apparently a reddit lurker in the mornings, and she saw my post. Not only is she furious with me, but she's also upset no one in the comments is siding with her. To make it short, she went on a big rant about how it's so hard to be a parent to triplets. And the least I could do is help because I'm young and single, and she needs a break. I stood my ground on my decision, and know she's calling our parents to get them involved. I'm expecting a call from them any minute. Update. Well I'm off work now, so I can tell more. Of what went down. I guess you could say it's over. My sister got our parents involved, they looked at my post, and were absolutely horrified by the continuous influx of commenters. Yes, they're very angry with me that I posted here. But I told them that if they just listened to me to begin with, I'd have never needed to. I'm sick of the whole keep the peace mentality that sacrifices me to placate my sister. They in turn went off on my sister, and to make a long story short the whole vacation has been cancelled. The hotel wasn't booked yet anyway. But my parents are arguing with my sister, my sister is blaming me, and my nephews are crying because they aren't going to the beach. My sister called me at lunch and basically implied I have no life, which is why I have time to help. I recorded that and told our parents, and that's currently what they're fighting about. I sincerely thank everyone here for all the advice, but I don't think I'll need to update again. Aida for banning my sill from my house over tomato sauce? I, 28F, have an older brother, 32M, he is married to SIL, 33F. I get along with her well, except for this one point. If you don't keep an eye on her, she will get into the kitchen, and add seasoning to whatever is cooking. She thinks she is fixing stuff, but not all foods need turmeric in it. This Saturday, I received 40 pounds of tomatoes, eat of me the whole weekend to turn it into a sauce that I was planning to can. I can it plain, the nad whatever seasonings and herbs it needs, depending on the recipe. They came to take a bag of spare clothes for one of their kids, and in the five minutes it took me to get it, she managed to get into the kitchen, add salt, pepper, turmeric, olive oil, garlic powder and Italian herbs to all five of the pots that were simmering on the stove. And when I told asked her what she was doing, Shahad the audacity to say, this sauce needed some taste, I added it for you. Like I've never told her to not touch what I was cooking before. I was so angry that I knew I couldn't be calm talking with her. So I simply walked to my brother, told him to take the clothes and his wife, and that. She is no longer welcome in my house. She had followed me, was shocked, started apologizing, but I just ignored her. I added Thothay should come by tomorrow to take the sauce his wife ruined, 
because otherwise it would be thrown away, and that I expected 40 pounds of replacement tomatoes. They left, he came back with the tomatoes, and apology letter from her, and an apology carrot cake, my fab. But I told him that I stand by my decision. Now my parents got involved, since I am the one that usually hosts, and since she is not allowed in my house, I told them to make alternate plans for Memorial Day. My husband says that I am in the right, but my parents say that my reaction is way overblown. So Aida? Edit. Since there seems to be some confusion, I am not planning to host for Memorial Day and bot invite her, I said I am not hosting, my parents or me brother should host, and I will attend as a guest. I might be NG, but I don't want her excluded. Aida for telling another kid's mom to mind her own ucking business? My F30 husband is typically the one to do the school run on his way back from work but he's got a nasty sinus infection so I took over. My daughter, F7, has a new classmate. I haven't met their parents yet. When I got there, a group of mums I know was standing there waiting for their kids and I joined them. The new kid's mum was there as well. I got there, we chat and get acquainted and she's what I did for a living. I said that I ran a small business from home, I genuinely do. I handmade jewelry and sell on platforms such as Etsy or Amazon and make more than I ever did in my corporate job. Her answer shocked me. So you're on benefits then? My mouth dropped and I said that no, I run my own business, she said she knows my type and I'm just lying ton it look bad, upper middle class neighborhood. I told her to mind her own ucking business. She called me a scrounger and SS hole without manners. I removed myself from the situation. When I was leaving with my daughter, I heard one of the other mums telling her that I'm really successful. I wished I turned around to see her face. Now, I'm thinking about this and I feel bad. It wasn't my proudest moment and I feel that I've made school runs awkward for NY husband now. Aida? Because if so, I'll have to apologize. Aida for calling my friend delusional? Okay so for background I, 23F, am friends with this guy, 36 meters. He doesn't have kids nor a significant other. He wants kids but he doesn't want a baby mother or that drama, so he's been looking for a surrogate. He asked most his friends and they all said no. He asked one friend if she would and if Shay did he'll pay for her medical bills and she can't stay with him but he doesn't want her to have any other kids or surrogate for anyone else. She said no. I told him that he's delusional to think someone would be his surrogate and not have children of their own or be a surrogate for anyone else. Now here's where I might be the SS hole. He said to me he was picky not delusional. I told him he's delusional to think that any woman would want to be his surrogate with his ridiculous requests. Also with the addition of wanting to do knee because finds them attractive. I told him he's weird and needs to get a grip on reality. He called me ansehole for not understanding him. Part of me feels like an SS hole because I was kind of harsh but I don't know. Am I the SS hole? Edit because some people find it confusing. He called me on the phone to complain about the friend. Edit. For everyone saying I shouldn't be friends with him. I called him after I saw the influx of people saying he's crazy. I told him that I will no longer be continuing our friendship because I don't think his mindset is something I can support. Edit. For everyone saying it's not smart of me to let go of this person just from this. We previously have argued about black politics, he's not on the side of black people and we both are black. We've had talks and disagreed on single parenthood and how to parent. This is just the most insane creepy thing I've ever heard out of his mouth and it was already making me feel weird hearing it. Also yes way met at church. This is one of the reasons I left the church because they cover up predators until it happens to you and you find out. I refuse to go through that again and would like to thank everyone for their concern. I hope he doesn't find this because I'm worried about the reaction he'll have. Aida as a father for coming to my child when she is calling for mother in the middle of the nighty? My wife and I were asleep in our bedroom. Our daughter, three, screamed, mommy, in the middle of the night in her room. I ran over as fast as I could to see what was wrong and to prevent our other daughter, one, from waking up from the noise. We had a big fight and her standpoint is that only she is allowed to go to our daughter when she calls for mommy. Especially because she is at home with the kids right now and I have to work. My standpoint is that I have a right to know what is wrong with my daughter and try to help her, even if her first reaction is to call mommy, Aida, I should clarify that my wife woke up as well and would have gone over right away. But of course I was worried as well. Edit. It turns out that some of the theories here were correct and she thinks that on a weekday, or weeknight, taking care of the kids is her job so I'm rested for work. 
And my actions made it so she couldn't do her job and like I was saying she's doing a bad job. She will be back at work when the young one starts kindergarten in the fall and she thinks she would feel different then.